Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss the last portion of hemocytometry. We have learned about blood collection, anticoagulants, and introduction to hemocytometry in previous classes. If you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel and turn on bell button. The topics we are discussing here is from the syllabus of upcoming DME Laboratory Technician exam. So prepare well and share the video to your friends who are preparing for the exam. After completing each subject, we will go with question answers. So first of all, we have to study about total leukocyte count. The procedure is same as that of RBC counting, only difference is there in diluting fluid. So for WBC counting, WBC diluting fluid is needed. WBC diluting fluids are Turks fluid, Toysen's fluid and 0.1 normal HCl. Turks fluid is a common fluid which is used for WBC count which contains glacial acetic acid, distilled water and 1% gentian violet or methylene blue. Here glacial acetic acid lyses RBCs and gentian violet or methylene blue stains the nucleus of WBCs. So blood is diluted with WBC pipette in 120 dilution and charged to the counting chamber. Here WBC pipette is used, the dilution is 1 in 20 and counting the 4 corner squares of WBC area. So here we are going with the calculation. Here the dilution factor is 20, depth factor is 10 and area counted is 4. Because we are counting 4 corner squares of 1 millimeter square each. You all know the calculation that is total cell counted is equal to dilution factor into depth factor divided by area counted here dilution factor is 20 as we are taking 1 in 20 dilution and depth factor is depth is 0.1 and depth factor is 10 and area counted is 4 millimeter square as we are using the four corner squares of 1 millimeter square each so n into dilution factor 20 into depth factor 10 divided by area counted 4 so simply we got n into 50. The calculation is like this. Okay. Next is about the clinical significance of total cell count. The increased condition is called as leukocytosis and decreased leukocyte count is referred to as leukopenia. The normal total leukocyte count is 5000 to 11000 per cubic millimeter of blood. It is of two types physiological. It is due to normal circumstances and pathological. It is due to diseases. And physiological increase, that is physiological leukocytosis can be seen in infants, in pregnancy, severe muscular exercise and pathological increase is seen in some bacterial and viral infections. Bacterial infections are pneumonia, tonsillitis, appendicitis, meningitis, rheumatic fever, diphtheria, etc. And viral infections are smallpox, chickenpox, etc. And also some parasitic infections like filariasis, hookworm infection, amoebic hepatitis, etc. Next is about leukopenia. Leukopenia is decreased WBC count. It is also pathological and physiological. Pathological conditions include protozoan infections like malaria, calasa, aplastic anemia, SLE, cirrhosis, rheumatoid arthritis, etc. Pathological decrease, not pathological increase, and also physiological decrease. It is old age and in early morning. Next is total platelet count. Platelets are small refractile bodies. It can be done in fresh sample or in EDTA blood sample. Method of choice is phase contrast microscopy. For platelet count, platelet diluting fluid and blood is taken in RBC diluting pipette. The common diluting fluid is resecker solution. Bromocrisyl blue is used as indicator in Resecker solution. Then 1% ammonium oxalate also can be used which removes RBCs in the sample. But a drawback of this diluting fluid is that RBC debris may be mistaken as platelets. Daisy's fluid, it is an RBC diluting fluid which can also be used for platelet count. Other diluting fluid for platelet counting are Christensen's fluid. Otil and Springs fluid and bar diluting fluid. For platelet count, we are using RBC pipette and 1 in 200 dilution. 
The pipette should be rinsed with diluting fluid with addition of platelet to the glass surface and after charge. Keep it inside a moist chamber for 15 to 20 minutes. Prevent evaporation of fluid from the chamber. Here we are counting the platelets present in the whole RBC area. Next is calculation. As we are taking RBC pipette, the dilution is 1 in 200. The dilution factor is 200. Depth factor is 10. And area counted is 1 millimeter square. So the calculation is like n into 200 into 10 divided by 1 where 200 is the dilution factor 10 is the depth factor and 1 is the area so that n into 2000 is the calculation factor the calculation and all we are discussed in previous classes so that no need to discuss here increased platelet count is called as thrombocytosis and this decreased count is called as thrombocytopenia and Thrombocytosis is seen in polycythemia vera, hemolytic anemia, iron deficiency anemia, acute granulocytic leukemia and in tuberculosis. And thrombocytopenia is seen in aplastic anemia, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, pernicious anemia, typhoid and in diphtheria. Next is about absolute eosinophil count. Sorry, it is not neutrophil count. It is absolute eosinophil count. It is done to confirm the cases of eosinophilia. Eosinophilia is seen in allergy and in parasitic infections. The diluting fluids used for eosinophil count or absolute eosinophil count is Hingelmann's fluid, pilot stain and Dunger's fluid. This is important. Hingelmann's fluid, pilot stain and Dunger's fluid. Absolute eosinophil count. These dilutive fluids are used for absolute eosinophil count, right? We are using WBC pipette for eosinophil count and the dilution is 1 in 10. As the number of eosinophils are less, we have to take a smaller dilution. That is 1 in 10. Up to 1 mark, blood has to be taken and up to 11 mark, diluting fluid has to be taken. The counting should be done within 15 to 30 minutes after dilution. Fuchs Rosenthal or improved Neuber counting chamber can be used. The number of cells present in the whole ruled area that is 9 mm square area has to be counted. As the number of eosinophils are too less. So calculation is like N into dilution factor 10 into depth factor 10 divided by area counted 9. So that is equal to N into 100 divided by 9. So it is all about hemocytometry. If the video is useful for you, please do like the video, share to your friends and if you are watching without subscribing, please do subscribe the channel, turn on bell button to get the notifications on time. So here you can comment the topic you want in the next class. Thank you.